what are the things that you can do to make sure that you continue to grow your income even in a recession because a lot of the indicators are pointing to an upcoming recession. For example, here is a graph that shows COVID relief money has been completely spent and most of all Americans have spent all of the money that they received after COVID. Also, the other thing is credit card delinquencies are really high again. And also not just credit card delinquencies, but credit card debt. I had several coaching calls this week, but even high earners, when like dentists and doctors have completely maxed out their credit cards and carry a balance of even $150,000 to $250,000 and they're only making minimum payments on those credit card debt. The other thing I have noticed over the years is that some people just do really well even throughout the recession and they continue to increase their income yet other people's businesses and personal finances just really go down the tube and some of them even go bankrupt. So what is the difference with people who actually thrive in a recession? So number one, you always need to stay positive. Make sure you only hang out with positive things because whatever you're thinking, that's what's going to happen in your life. So if you keep hanging out with people who are super negative and they always have like a rain cloud following them, that's exactly where you're going to be. So make sure that you stay super positive. That's going to be essential because that's one thing I noticed with all the people who do really well in a recession. They are extremely optimistic and they are unrealistically optimistic. And actually there was a study on this in uh, University of Pittsburgh who studied millionaires and one thing that was common with them is common with all these millionaires is unrealistic optimism. Number two, you really need to get your personal finances in order. Uh, I also see a lot of coaching clients living in houses that they cannot afford. Make sure that your mortgage and all of your house and mortgage related expenses are no more than 25% of your after tax income. So if you make a, if you take home $100,000 after taxes, your mortgage should be no more than $25,000 a year. So um, make sure that, uh, that you keep in check with that because I see a lot of even doctors who whose mortgages are over 60% of their net income, after tax income. The other thing is you really got to get rid of credit card debt. Credit card debt, you can't stay ahead of it because, uh, for example, if you're paying minimum payments on your credit card debt and it's at a 25%, uh, 22% or 25% interest rate, there's no way you can get returns on a stock market or any kind of return that stay ahead of that, uh, 20, that high interest rate of 22%. So you really need to cut your expenses. No more Starbucks, no more eating out, no more you know, frappes and none of that until you pay your credit card debt off. That should be your number one priority. Any personal credit card debt needs to be gotten rid of because the interest rates are just so high that just no matter what, you're not going to be able to uh, make a dent on it with just uh, getting savings account interest or even investment returns. Number three, and this is exactly what I did, is actually learning a new skill. So in the last recession in 2008-9, I went back and I learned orthodontics. I also got a master's degree and actually that tripled our business. And this is something that you can do too. You want to make sure that you learn a new skill and you don't start when the recession starts. You need to plan for this and uh, you really need to get your finances in order and then you really need to learn a new skill that's going to help you make more money and grow your business without working more hours. So for example, I teach orthodontics orthodontics and a lot of doctors learn some kind of a skill, for example, taking out wisdom teeth, placing implants, orthodontics, whatever it is, whatever you're interested in, but you should be learning some kind of a new skill that you can utilize to grow your business that's going to help you even in a recession. And if you can find a skill that's actually very much needed in your area, whatever that may, might be, and also it's recession proof in a way, that would be really, really helpful. And for this, actually, I like the best of implants, extractions, and orthodontics because implants and extractions, dental implants and extractions are going to be necessary even in a recession because people lose teeth. And also, even in a re recession, people still want to have nice teeth and they, they also still want to pay for their kids' braces. And I noticed that in the last recession between 2008 to 2010 to 11. So bottom line is you really need to plan for the recession before the recession starts and always stay ahead of the game. Always need to work on efficiencies for your business and make sure you work on personal debt and make sure that you, you, know, you, you live a frugal life where you're actually building your savings and you don't just save your money, but you have to invest it. Because remember, retirement, we don't save for retirement. We invest for retirement and we grow our retirement. Because if you just save money, that's not going to grow. That's just gonna sit in your savings account. But ultimately, the most important thing is that you plan for our upcoming recession by educating yourself, learning new skills, get your personal and your business finances in order. And first and foremost is you stay super positive. That's going to be the most important thing. Surround yourself with people who support you and make sure to surround yourself with people who 100% support you as well as they're very, very positive. 
if you do all this i promise that you're going to do really well in the next recession let me know uh, if you're planning for this or let me know if you have any questions and i'll try to answer all the comments